And so, the plain text is encrypted with the symmetric key that was randomly generated by the client application. The symmetric key is in turn encrypted with the public asymmetric key of the server. The server can then use its private asymmetric key to recover the symmetric key, which can then be used to obtain the plain text from the ciphertext. If a stream cipher is used, then a message authentication code must be applied to preserve integrity. So, the plain text is encrypted with the symmetric key that was randomly generated by the client application. The symmetric key, in turn, can be encrypted with the public asymmetric key of the server. The server can then decrypt using its private asymmetric key to recover the symmetric key K, which can then be used to obtain the plain text from the ciphertext. If a stream cipher is used, then the message authentication code must be applied to preserve integrity. We have a question from the remote site. Why are we doing two encryptions for a single message? Well, that's mostly for efficiency. This allows the symmetric key to be used for subsequent messages, both from the server to the client and from the client to the server. And so, the plain text is encrypted with the symmetric key that was randomly generated by the client application. The symmetric key is in turn encrypted with the public asymmetric key of the server. The server can then decrypt symmetric key using its private asymmetric key. Using its private asymmetric key and obtain K. This K can 